today's right. top five, five foods nutritionists won't eat. This one surprised me right here. Number five, pretzels. At all. Pretzels. No pretzels. Experts say they're basically a big bowl of sugar. Uh-huh. Okay. The refined carb product contains no nutrients that are beneficial for health, and they are easily overeaten for this reason. They have no fiber, protein, or healthy fat. Uh -huh. Ooh, I had no idea. Yeah, I was unaware. I thought, you know, empty carbohydrates are still carbs. You still need that for energy, but nutritionists yeah. say not so much no, if it's a pretzel. No, just a lot of sugar. Mm. Yeah. Number four, well, this one isn't rocket science, but <laughs> blended coffee drinks. These blends can have up to 81 grams of sugar. That amount of sugar is the equivalent of drinking two cans of soda with roughly 20 teaspoons of pure sugar. Oh, yeah. In oh, them. yeah. I used to be a barista, and we used to see who could outdo uh, each other and see who could, who could rack up the biggest amount of calories in a frozen. Oh and, it, and it's not tough. You know, you start throwing in the mix, then you start throwing in, like, some chocolate-covered beans, and then you start throwing in some caramel and all the other stuff. Oh you can gosh, rack up a yeah. lot of calories if you, are, uh, if you really want to or if you're not careful. Okay, never have a coffee drink from Carlos. That's what I <laughs> took from that. Number three, reduced fat peanut butter. Most reduced fat peanut butter is not necessarily a healthier version of regular peanut butter. I had no idea. Okay. While they both contain about the same amount of calories, the reduced fat variety contains more refined carbs and sugar. Ah, while it's reduced fat, what's in it is going to make you fat. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the no. carbs and sugar. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's basically what packs on the pounds, right? I think you're right? supposed to do, like, the organic right, yeah. peanut butter, no salt added, that sort of thing. Well, you're supposed to. Yeah. What tastes the best? Well, these taste pretty good. Let me tell you, number <laughs> two, pre-baked toaster pastries. Yes. Yum. The serving size for one toaster pastry with most flavors averages about 200 calories. Eek! And 15 to 20 grams of sugar, but most people eat two pastries, yeah. doubling the calories and sugar. So they come in a pack of two. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You have to eat both of them. But that's yeah, 400 absolutely. calories mm -hmm. for a packet. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, bacon. 68. No. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I reject anything you're about to say oh, about bacon here. Well, plug your ears. 68% of bacon's calories come from fat, half of which is the saturated type. To add to that, each strip of bacon contains almost 200 milligrams of sodium, and usually you don't stop at just one piece. I've never no. seen one, a person eat just one piece of bacon. <sighs> so keep on doubling it. Sorry, Carlos. I reject your reality and substitute my own in its place. Bacon <laughs> still gets a thumbs up from this nutritionist. Maybe you'll stop on the toaster pastries a little bit. No, just none of it. Okay. Everything in moderation, folks. Moderation. <laughs>